Hello and welcome to the Ideas Technical Resource Centre Research Highlights for May 2014. We've um, identified three papers that we thought you might be interested in. Thank you very much for clicking through to the research highlights. Two of them look at efforts in India to encourage women to have facility deliveries. And the third one looks at the patterns of maternal mortality across the globe. So I'll come to that one a little bit later, but now I'd like to think about the two that we have from India. One looks at Madhya Pradesh province. The JSY is an attempt by the government to encourage women specifically from poorer backgrounds to deliver in facilities. And the purpose there, of course, is to ease the access, access to referral systems. Um, and the question that this paper addresses is, does actually delivering in the facility enable women to access emergency obstetric care? So the JSY has had extensive uptake. So far, there have been 54 million beneficiaries. But there's no evidence so far that the JSY has an effect on the reduction of maternal mortality. And one of their conclusions is that it's not enough to get women, of course, to deliver in facilities, that the poor quality of referral and of emergency obstetric care may mean that um, the JSY project doesn't contribute to re reduction of maternal mortality. That's one of the India projects. The other one I wanted to want you to look at this is an enormous investment on the part of the state government. Um, we wanted particularly to look at this one because the Gates Foundation is very interested in public-private partnerships and also I know that a lot of the foundation grantees under the Maternal Newborn Health Strategy do have a component that is um, about public-private partnerships. So the system here is that the, the, the private facilities are accredited through the scheme and then women who come from poor backgrounds or tribal backgrounds can have private delivery care in one of these accredited facilities. So they do look at quality of care. The accreditation is based on quality of care. Um, so in the first four years of the programme, over half a million beneficiaries have delivered in these private accredited facilities. There's a rising trend in, in the use of private facilities across the board, whether or not JSY is being used. So it's not evident that JSY contributes to the increase in delivery care in itself. That might have happened anyway. But if we look at the target population, so the poorest women and those in tribal backgrounds, the rate of facility using the JSY scheme rose from 10% in 2006 to about a third, a sustained one third four years later. And also important to uh, maternal survival is that access to or uptake of cesarean sections is about three times as high among women using JSY as among a comparable group not using JSY. So it does seem that it's improved access to emergency obstetric care. And then the paper looks at some of the barriers from the demand side and from the supply side. So the third paper is the Glo WHO Global Burden of Disease Study, which started in 1990, collects data from 188 different countries. They're interested in looking at progress towards MDGs, and that's why the data are collected. And the, the sad conclusion of this group in terms of MDG 5 is that only nine of those who will reach the MDG 5 target of our developing countries. So countries, different countries have made um, different levels of progress. In Asia and Latin America, we learn that the progress has been greatest. Um, 
and in sub-Saharan Africa, unfortunately in West Sub-Saharan Africa and Central Africa and in the Horn of Africa, progress has been particularly slow. Um, it's, it's, if you're interested in looking across the world at what's happening and in your own countries, it's really fascinating. We have tables that um, give you the uh, cause of death, the maternal mortality ratio, the rate of change um, across these 23, year, uh, 23 years, yes. Um, and also some very nice, I think, interesting tables of how different causes of maternal mortality have changed in those 23 years. So we can see here that, for example, obstructed labour has significantly fallen. Um, uh, whereas death from abortion hasn't, um, hemorrhage has fallen. So there have been improvements, but not across the board. OK, well, thank you very much. I hope you enjoy reading the papers. If you'd like to contact us, if you'd like further information about any of the papers, then do please get in touch. We could even set up a web seminar with some of our colleagues here to discuss some of the findings. Thanks very much.